All right, guys, I am back and we are going to make this cute little pocket thing here. I'm not sure if I'll get it done in one video or two. Um, as usual, I try to keep the videos to about 20 to 30 minutes at the most. So, anywho, yep, this is the cute little thing that we're going to make. Um, I have the pocket ready for that, uh, for like almost done on that one, but um, so let me show you what it is. So this is, um, the ephemera that'll go in the back there with our little Cheshire cat there. And then, um, this pops open like this for some journaling inside. And then, um, I made the little divot there. Okay. And then you just take off this little paper clip and then you can get into this pocket here, um, which I just put a generic card in that one. And then this folds out like so for more journaling and since we're going down the rabbit hole we have to have cool rabbit hole um ephemera right and journaling journaling places okay so let's get started um the most easiest place to start is the pocket so i've already cut these down and these are three and three eighths by um, eight inches. So if you wanna try to make the like exact type thing that I'm making here. So, and since, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna get the base ready first and then I'll show you how we make the, the accordion really quick. It's really goes back to our origami days of like paper folding and doll making um so anyway so this gets folded up and i'm going to use this for measurement here um it's a little a little more than five it's like about five and an eighth you want to you could put a score mark there um mine are just kind of guesstimation so yeah, um, I, it's not, it, the only thing really precise is um, the paper cuts as far as the eight, eight by three and uh, three and three and three eighths. Nothing else is very precise. So then I'm just gonna flip that upside down and I'm gonna fold this last one up. And again, it's just kind of a ballpark. Right around there. So I hope you guys are all doing all right. We're just kind of hanging out today. Christian is working. Grace just got back from work. And so, yeah. That is how we're rolling today. Okay, so then um, we're making uh, these little pieces here. Um, it's just basically um, oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so lost for words today. Um, it's just basically a little extra to journal on. So basically all I did was I came here and kind of where I kind of want it. And then I just did a kind of a quick little fold. Oh, hopefully. So. Oh, nope, that's not going to work. I don't know, it seems like I'm gonna be all thumbs on the video today. And just wait till we get to the other pieces, guys. You're gonna laugh your keisters off. Well, it's gonna be a little too much too. So I'm gonna back it off just a little bit. Like I said, if you wanna be more precise, by all means, go right ahead. But since I'm kind of mass producing these, um, I'm just gonna do it this way. And if we need to trim it down, we absolutely can. 
Okay, so then um, before I go too much further, I'm going to go ahead and ink the places it needs some inking. And um, throughout most of these journals, I'm going to be using the Vintage Photo and the Black Soot. So... Excuse me. Seems my vitamins are kind of um, a little angry today. I'm making my belly angry. Okay. So then I'm going to bind it just how I usually do. Oh, that's like really short. That's all right, though. It's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to clip a few and then we're just going to do almost just like a three signature thing here. And um, just so you know, these are, it's only two layers thick, so there'll be like four pieces in there. So nothing massive, so it won't hold it, like it, it'll still stay closed when we're, when we're doing the other pieces here. So yeah, it is Saturday, and like I said, Christian's working, Gracie's, I don't know, probably reading right now, and then I think Christian and I are going to film another one of the videos in the series. You guys seem to like that, and we enjoyed it a whole lot, so. Right? Are you going to film another video with me? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, and like I usually tell you, if you are doing it this way, make sure you have your strings on the other side before you start tightening up, and then when you tie it off, you're going to want them to kind of be um, oh goodness, it's going to be another one of those videos where I kind of lose my train of thought. Anyways, then we're going to watch Star Wars tonight. Which one? Emperor Strikes Back? Empire Strikes Back, yeah. And I actually have no idea exactly when you're going to see this video, but I will tell you this. That um, when at 2 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> when your uh, brain wakes you up because it has an idea, you just got to go with it. I guess this one was probably around midnight. We're just going to stack that. Okay. Okay, so we're going to set that aside. And we're going to get to this other one. Yeah, those are a little short, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll be just fine. I need to get back to the covers. I think that'll be my next couple of videos is back to the covers. I might not even get to it till tomorrow because I think I might. Oh, you know what? I forgot to ink. Oh, well. We'll just ink after, after we get this in. Um, Anyways, yeah, I've got to get back to those covers. Can't quite decide what to do first with those either. So, all right, so. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take my ruler that is right in front of my face. Okay. that we don't need that again get rid of these because we definitely won't need those right now okay and yep I'm getting my strings so we'll just put a little bit of color down on those and I just used um, my wax linen thread to thread those um, but I do think it would look super cute if you did it with, um, like, Baker's Twine. Like, the different colors that they have, like, at the dollar store. I just didn't think about it until I actually already had that going. So, the project. So. But, like, a red and white or, like, a blue and white, that would look super cute, I bet. All right, so we got those. Let's do one of these envelopes. This. And then we can set all those other pieces aside and we'll uh, get to the um, folding of the other ones, the other pieces. And sometimes vintage photo shows up on cardstock, like this brown cardstock, but um, I wouldn't always count on that. So one goes this way, one goes that way. So this one will go on this one like this, and this one will go on like this. And we'll glue those on in just a minute. However, we need the next step we need to do is the folding of the paper. Okay. Yeah, I still have two over here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you roughly what I did. Um, I am using, this is the... Uh, kid construction paper. I ordered mine off of Amazon. I don't know. It was a couple of bucks. Um, and it's uh, 11 by 18, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 by 18. So I just went up three inches, around about three inches. And then I just accordioned back and forth. Trying to stay as together as you can make it, right? Like lining up the edges. For this particular project, it's not it's not the end of the world if it's not completely lined up because it does give a pretty cool stacked effect if it's not. And it is going to slip a little bit when we go to start cutting it. At the end, you should have just about the right amount left. So that is our accordion, okay? So, and then I just took it, since it's about three inches, I took them and measured out three inches on my cutter, and that is how I made these. Okay, so now, obviously, this side has creases and this side has creases, so we're just going to gently fold it over. We don't want to make... Um, it too creased, right? And we're gonna hold and pinch. Okay, now I made kind of a heart shape here, like you would if you were making paper hearts, like that. Okay. Okay, now I flipped it over 
and going as close as I could, like I, I left probably about a half inch and I kind of took it in there and I kind of did a half C. Like that, okay. And your bottoms do get a little, little off, but that's okay. Now I took this side and made like a heart shape to that other C. And that is how I made the, the um, spade. So then when you open it up, you have a spade shape. I think I want to... The cats are kind of clawing on things they shouldn't these days. I think winter is driving them nuts. I mean, it's driving me nuts, so I'm assuming. Okay. So yeah, there we go. There's our spade shape. And... Pretty cute, huh? I think so. And this turned out so well, I think I might do it on a couple other shapes, maybe. Okay, so again, just fold it where your seams are here and kind of to a point here. Uh, if you're gonna scan there, Gracie, you should at least say hi. Oh. To where they can hear you. <laughs> Hello. Hazel. No, nope, don't eat paper. Okay. Now we're going to do that funky little half shape C here. Like that. And then I'm going to come in and make the other heart shape to that little D. Okay. And again, they're not all going to be the same, but. Hi. Yeah, so there's our little spade shape. Okay, so I'm gonna do one in the black ink, and then I'll do one in the vintage photo, and then we'll get those glued on. What are you doing? Are you digging through my trash? Yeah. Yeah, that one didn't turn out so good. Hence the reason it's in the trash. Oh, guess what? Somebody's got the crimper out. Now, what I did when I was inking is I just took this and folded it back one and then inked both sides. It seemed to work out pretty, pretty quickly that way. <laughs> you can show them what you just did. So she took my little heart that didn't quite look like a heart and she just it crimped It does them. look like a heart. What are you talking about? Um, it's a little off. Clearly not. Okay. And I took the next section and kind of rolled it back as well. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, there we go. Just folded it this way. Hungry, sweetie? I'm getting hungry. That's what I was waiting to ask you. Um, I'm gonna do that chicken thing tonight. I'm gonna need more than just that chicken thing. Um, that's all you get today. It's, it's going to be a creation. It's well, gonna be chicken, I, then how would I chicken, know chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy, and it's just gonna be a. A mommy creation. And I'll make the gravy from scratch. The good stuff. The good stuff. I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna make a mac and cheese cup. Okay, you go make a mac and cheese cup, baby. And then at the end, you really only have a few that don't have ink on them. I have to fold it in the opposite direction. Like I said, you can make quick work of it if you're doing it double, like doubled, like that. I like how it says in big letters, "Must add water." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. 
apparently people do it all the time, like, try to microwave them all the time without water. Huh. Who would have thunk? should be all of them. See? Pretty. Well, except for one. And I probably went over it, just not very well. Okay. Alright, so this one, since it's the same as this other one, I want to do the opening on this side. Set that there. I'll cap this one off. Get this little guy going. I just got a new ink pad. If you guys can tell, it's all like juicy and nice. It inks well. Kind of funny when your brain starts thinking when you don't give it permission, huh? <laughs> Dead asleep. Wide right awake you are. Um, and you can make these smaller too. I mean, don't feel like you have to make it this size. I just did because it fit on my envelope. You could probably make them longer, and I think, because I want to make some diamonds, too. This isn't the first time this whole thing is going to make its appearance in the journals. Um, it's going to, I have another pocket envelope thing that I want to do, and I think these would, I want to try to do a diamond shape, too. Okay, I think that was the end of that one. This direction. All right, yeah, sorry I'm not very talkative, but my brain, you know. These should be the last two. I keep just getting like missing one, but acquiring minds would like to know, I bet. Alright, so we want it to open this one this way. Nope. To open this way. This way. Alright, so that one goes on there. Okay. Did I already get the little cards that go in the envelopes? Probably not. What are we getting to be time-wise? Oh, we are already at 30 minutes, guys. Okay, so what I'll do is we'll finish this up, put the card in, and then I'll just do the rest of the paper clip and the other piece of ephemera in the next video. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me.
one down. Um, <laughs> um, apparently Domino, the lab, just chased uh, Christian right out of the dining room where he's doing his work. That's funny. That's hilarious. Are you breaking him in, Domino? Are you breaking him in, Domino? I just had a horrifying thought. Okay, good. I was thinking maybe <laughs> I glued, like glued that the wrong side up. That wouldn't that be terrifying? Oh man! I mean, we are going down the rabbit hole, so I mean, there would be that. Okay, so the next piece is we got to find two little card pieces like that. Excuse me. Oh my goodness! Those vitamins are barking today. Okay, let's do one of those. A little too big, I think. Gee, Jess, I wonder where the rest of mom's stuff went. Naughty dog. Naughty, naughty puppy. All right, so I might have to use one of those tags. I guess we could use the tea towel. Do we like? No, I like the squares because I can maneuver it well. I guess that's the one it is. Okay. All right. This will be our final step in this video. It's super simple. We're just going to uh, put a little bit of ink around those. Okay. Now, what I want to do, and one thing to always make sure you know where your glue is going. So I just want to clip the edge of this envelope to keep that part down, okay? So it'll keep it down. Okay, so I know I don't wanna glue further, like closer than this, but I'm gonna kind of go at a diagonal in this direction with it. And these um, chipboards seem to like this glue better, so. But we get glue everywhere. Okay. The little rabbit is so stinking cute, isn't he? Okay. We're gonna glue that or pinch that down, pinch that angle down. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. Okay, now let's ink this little guy up. Okay, and he's a little bit bigger, so he's gonna catch a little bit more. like so. I think that'll be okay hanging off the edge like that, but pinch it down. Okay, now this one should be glued in place enough. Okay, so yep, there's our little bit. 
attaches that way. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on there just so we know. Okay, so that is our um, the first video in this little pocket series. All right, guys, I will just talk to you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. All right, bye, guys.